Hello friends, my name is Salman and you are watching my channel Solid Tech. In this video, I will discuss a very important uh, product of VMware which is called vCenter Converter. I always call this uh, job saving application because it will save uh, a lot of jobs in IT. So I will discuss how to use uh, this product in detail. So let's move to the next slide. Basically, uh, what it does, it converts the workload migration with VMware uh, vCenter standalone converter. So basically, uh, let's uh, first consider the few uh, scenario. For example, I have a server and I want to retire it. For example, I have a old server but my workload is running on that server. So I want to uh, retire this server. So I need to move uh, the virtual uh, physical server running on that uh, server into another location. So my application will not disturb my uh, all apps are running. So uh, for overcome this problem, we use the uh, VMware converter, v which convert a physical uh, machine, physical server into a virtual machine. Or for example, let's suppose we have a server on uh, physical server on which we install only one single operating system but we want to install a multiple operating system on that and we uh, we want to use it uh, again with so many uh, virtual machines so in this case i will move or migrate uh, uh, these uh, server from physical to virtual infrastructure and again uh, i will install any hypervisor on my, on my server and I uh, migrate again, uh, migrate back to the original server. So these are the some uh, scenario. And the most important scenario is, suppose if you have a server where your uh, resources are full. For example, you have uh, one TB hard drive and your space is full and you don't have any option to expand your hard drive. In this case, what will you do? You will uh, migrate your uh, machine from this tool to another uh, tool and during the migration, you will uh, reconfigure the storage of your hard drive. For example, you can increase in up to 2 TB. So these are the some scenarios uh, related to uh, VMware vCenter converter. Basically, basically, uh, I will bullet down it easily retired or repurpose physically developed server by converting their OS or OT or operating system data to a VM. Basically, we are converting a physical to virtual machine. What we do? Install VMware vCenter converter, reach out the source physical machine. These are the some uh, uh, high level steps. First of all, we install a uh, VMware uh, converter. Then we reach out our physical or virtual machine and convert them into a VM. And finally, we convert them into a VM. Size our target correctly. Because I, as I told you, I will resize my hard drives or RAM or CPU with the help of with this converter. Improve our success by following best practices. So these, these are the some uh, other definition. VMware V converter convert converter standalone is a free application. Basically, it is free. It is uh, free of cost. That can be downloaded from the VMware website and installed on Windows for converting supporting type of machine to VMware to convert to VMware virtual machine. Basically, there are two types of converter. One is called physical physical to virtual converter conversion and other is called V2V conversion, which is virtual to virtual conversion. For example, if I have a virtual machine running on my ESXi host in old version and I want to move into a new version, so I will use this converter to migrate from one host to another host. So, these are the basic definition uh, of VMware v, v Center Converter. So basically, uh, vCenter Converter uh, workload conversion and migration tool. Basically, the workload and migration tool is completely free of, completely free to use, no limitation. You can migrate hundreds of machine, no limits of number of conversion. You can migrate number of machine number of times. It the converter 5.53 is latest version and VMware basically the latest version is 6.6.02. Uh, basically, when we download converter from VMware site, uh, it is a self-extracting executable file for uh, Windows 64-bit. 
so is a single uh, single uh, single installation file uh, it have a few option either you uh, install as an agent as a server as a client so most of the time i will uh, install as a stand alone converter so let's move to the website so here can i can type VMware vCenter converter standalone download and you can see on the uh, third link I have a file host which is a very good uh, website for downloading uh, these type of tool. Here you can see VMware vCenter converter uh, September 18, 2021. The size is 171.92. So the requirement is Windows XP extra. You can install any of any one of the these uh operating system so i can down you can download from this side this is free for download so i have already downloaded into my uh, computer so here so how can you download it so you can go there and download from there so basically convert converter import source option basically vm uh, converter imports from a physical machine as i discussed is also uh, convert uh, import machines from VMware workstation 7, 8, or 9, 10, or up to 16. It also uh, import the virtual machine from VMware vFusion. vFusion VMware Fusion is uh, used on Mac OS, so you can uh, import your uh, virtual machine from there. Also, it works with uh, VMware Player, vSphere, and Microsoft Virtual PC, Microsoft Hyper-V, Citrix and servers, all the products, it will support all these servers. The best thing I like is that it also support a disk image made with a semantic Norton Go, semantic Live State, Acronic True Image. If you have a host, if you have a, a image of your any host, for example, your server will uh, creating problem. So you make a copy of uh, this copy with the help of third party uh, software like Norton Ghost or Acronic True Image. If you have an image, you can also convert this image into a virtual machine. So I like this uh, feature very much because a lot of people don't know how to convert image into a uh, virtual machine. So this uh, tool is very helpful for them. So after converting that, uh, it will convert or it will move the machine the target options are ESXi host, ESXi host managed by vCenters and VM workstation. Uh, so you can convert from workstation and move into another workstation or uh, Fusion or VM pair pillar. These are the target options where I want to move my migrate to my machine. This is the client information of that. So this is the my scenario. For example, I have a few servers which I want to replace or uh, upgrade. So in on that server, on that physical server, I run my uh, some important server like my AD, my SQL server, my uh, other database server. So in this case, I will move uh, this machine uh, into another a new virtual machines on my another host. So migrate source Windows Linux to VMs. Update driver in target virtual machine. Gas op op OS customization to set a new identity. Basically, it when it, it will it uh, migrate machine from host to uh, another host. It will update the uh, drivers according to new virtual structure. Also, we are able to customize our uh, uh, workload, our application server. For example, if you want to change the name of your server, uh, you can change the IP of your server because if you uh, migrate as it is, it will conflict in your network. So you can change your IP address, you can change your name, you can uh, change other uh, stuff while you are migrating to the other side. So the supported operating system uh, converter 5th hand can be convert. Uh, it will, uh, I will tell you it will convert all the uh, operating system of Windows, Windows XP whether it is client operating system or Windows operating system, Windows server operating system. It will convert all of them. I will try all of these in my office. Also, it will uh, work with uh, uh, with Linux and I will try it with Red Hat, SUSE and Ubuntu. So, you will convert your any physical machine uh, which is uh, either Windows or Windows Server or Linux. So, it will convert all the operating systems. Basically, what it does, 
it uh, clone and update disk converter copies clone disks between so it first of all it will uh, it will source uh, it will clone the source disk to a target virtual disk source disk to virtual disk disk cloning is performed while source machine is power on and in a service the beauty of this uh, product is you can convert your virtual uh, physical machine into virtual machine while they are power on this is called the hot migration because in hot migration you don't uh, turn off your power so basically it's uh, after converting updating a new virtual uh, disk replace the source driver with virtual drivers so after converting this machine it will change the, your uh, sp hardware specific driver to the uh, new uh, compatible driver with vmware also update the registry of virtual machine same time it is uh, if you convert a physical uh, Linux machine it also update your uh, driver to the uh, integrate the driver of Linux into a kernel also we have discussed uh, guest op optimization is optional we can either we uh, choose the default option which is the same as source and target and we can customize the other option as you wish I wish so this is the uh, this is the first page after you install the uh, VMware uh, converter from the VMware side or other side the most of the time you will choose the local installation and because the, there are two types of installation local install, installation server, client server installation advanced so I will choose or you will choose always local installation on Windows desktop server download VMware converter Exe run the executable un unpack and vcenter converter component launch the vn converter to initiate the conversion so there are seven steps involved in the conversion of uh, virtual machine to uh, physical machine uh, virtual machine uh, physical machine to virtual machine seven step to hot migration to a source machine prepare a source machine for migration and install an agent to a source machine set properties for target VMs like uh, disk size, identity, location, a snapshot and copy source disk and create a new VM using the VM disk, replace the source driver with a virtual driver and perform post installation uh, housekeeping. So uh, what it does, uh, when you uh, launch this wizard, it will install an agent on a source machine and it will uh, gather the all the inform uh, important information like hard drive cpu memory and then it will make a snapshot and after making a, a snapshot it will uh, migrate a new machine uh, old machine to new target machine and create a new uh, virtual machine over there and after converter conversion it will replace the all the drivers of uh, old machine with a new virtual machine vm driver vm drivers and after that it will replace the uh, after that it will uh, remove the any uh, snapshots within the source machine so this is a very straightforward process so now this is the important uh, step and you should uh, look carefully on this first uh, first of all when you uh, install launch the uh, application launch the uh, converter enterprise launch the vm converter client select the source basically what are the uh, sources are the select source may be a power on virtual machine the second option is vm virtual infrastructure basically uh, power on virtual machine vmware infrastructure if your source machine is uh, in vmware environment you can select the second one vm workstation or other virtual machine backup or third party image or Hyper-V so you can convert a physical machine virtual machine hosted on VMware or VMware workstation or Hyper-V or even you can uh, select a source from a uh, uh, image image software like uh, Norton Ghost uh, backup third party image so in this case what you will do it will ask you the remote site credential for example you have to give the source IP address or name username of that machine and the password of that machine and the OS family which is about uh, Windows Linux or any other machine so this is the life life saving uh, tool for in my eyes because it will save your uh, job uh, because it is very good so in this video I will explain what is uh, the 
what is the function of vmware vcenter converter so in my next video i will show you the uh, or remaining uh, steps which i will take to uh, convert my physical machine into virtual machine thank you very much for your time